Here we go. United States Mint Standing Liberty Centennial Gold Coin. This thing, I have been trying to find this on eBay for a good price for months, and he just so happened to have it. He just so happened to have it on his show, and I won it. I mean, I paid for it, you know, but I was the first to, to hit bin on it, meaning I get to buy it. I get the opportunity for that. So again, it's Midwest Coins on Instagram. He's got, he does uh, sales every Monday at 8.30, or 8 o'clock sometimes. And, uh, whew. I am so excited. Wow. You know, this came out years ago. You know, I'm finally able to buy something like this. Well, I've been getting really into coins a lot more than I have been, so. Look at this. The 2016 Standing Liberty quarter design. And is it 24 karat gold, or what kind of gold is it? So let's look. Yep, 999 fine gold, 7.776 grams. It's like the size of a quarter almost, you know. Thickness, oh my gosh, made at the West Point Mint. Just like how it was with the, uh, the original Standing Liberty quarter. I don't know if I can even get this thing out. Now watch me struggle for a minute. So I'd like to get it out so I can show you guys. Oh man, how do I do this without like destroying it? They're like, oh, you have a knife. Do I really want to do this? Do I want to do this? No, I don't want to do that. Oh. Oh, look at that. It just slides right up. Oh, perfect. So I don't really have to take it out. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Perfect. Look at the nice case it comes with. You don't really see the mint making this nice of stuff anymore. So, here is the coin. I get it to focus. Maybe I won't get it to focus. <laughs> Cameras. Anyways, this is probably the coolest gold coin I'll ever own. You see there's some uh, copper spotting right there. And you can easily get that off. There's a number of different tricks. But, and of course, this is like the Type 1 design with the exposed breasts. And I guess the, the woman back then didn't like it, and they kind of like protested against it. So in uh, 1917, they had a Type 1 and a Type 2, where the Type 2 design, you, there's actually differences right there and there, which are telltale signs. And of course, the, the breast is, is covered up. But I've been trying to get this, this coin for so long at a decent price where I'm not overpaying and paying taxes on it. That was a big thing. You know, I'd be on eBay and I'd be looking, and I'd find out I'd have to pay like 50 bucks in sales tax. And uh, if you collect coins, silver, and gold, you know that you hate paying sales tax. You're not going to meet your return on your investment if you're paying sales tax on collectible coins or or numismatic coins. So I, I really don't want to do that. And there's like no way I could have gotten around that from some of the people who are selling them at a, at a decent price. I'm like, okay, you know, the price may be a little decent. Then next thing you know, bam, 50 bucks sales tax plus shipping and all that stuff. So it's like. I don't want to do that. I really don't. So, anyways, oh my gosh, I forgot I got this other gold too. Ah! It's always a surprise, and actually, some of these are a surprise because they had all, hit all different sorts of rounds and coins, and I didn't know which kind I was gonna get. So here is one ounce Republic Metals Corporation. Is this that one place that did a bunch of uh, shady things? If it is, I'm actually gonna be doing some silver pouring pretty soon, so maybe that'll be one of the ones I melt down. Let's do the silver first. And then we got, um, it's like a Queen's Beast kind of design, it looks like, 2020. It's got a unicorn and a lion. Um, the lion usually representing Great Britain. Um, I don't know what the unicorn is supposed to represent. But yeah, nice little coin, comes in a case, I love it. And then from the Germania Mint, um, five mark, yeah, Germania, here's what the back looks like. Absolutely beautiful, marvelous coin. I actually have a, um, a couple of these already, so I got another one. 2021, one ounce, uh, four nines fine silver, beautiful, beautiful coin right here, and then I already got this gold out, these are one gram gold rounds, so you see, uh, Monarch Precious Metals, that's what it is, and it's cool, it has a little ship on the back of it.
I think these are really cool. It's really cool to have little, little, um, usually you only see them in bars, right? So it's cool to get a, um, it's cool to get a coin or a round, you know? A round has no face value, it has no dollar value, okay? You know, and then a coin it has a face value or dollar value, whether it's from the United States or any other country. I'll save like the integrity of this bag, I can reuse it, so. I got my little knife, big knife handy. I got bigger knives than this, so you can't really call it a big knife. But this is one I just have in my drawer in case zombies attack, you know. Right here, and I think I've got 20 of these uh, one-tenth silver rounds. So if you remember from the last video, I got 15 of them, and he had them for sale again for around the same price. So I was quick, and I bought 20 more of those puppies launch them all out of here and these ones all look like they're the standing liberty design which I'm totally fine with because remember last time I had the mercury dime design and also the Aztec calendar but that's fine because I kind of like these the most I love the the, the walking liberty or this uh, yeah design see the design is kind of similar but a little bit different call that the, the walking liberty and this is like the the Standing Liberty, because it's based off the Standing Liberty Quarter, which came after the Barber Quarter series. And this is most coin collectors' favorite design for, like, the Quarter series. It would have been cool if they'd done it for, like, a half dollar or um, a dime or or a silver dollar of the Standing Liberty. But they only did it for quarters, which also makes it really special. Um, maybe a little bit more. Have, it has a little bit more of a premium, too. But I'm just so happy to get this coin. This is now one of my favorite favorite coins. And how many ounces did it say it was again? Yes, yeah, so this is one quarter ounce, 0.25 troy ounces, and these coins come with a high premium. So say gold's at, I don't know, $1,800, $1,900, $2,000, um, and even though this is a quarter ounce of gold, so you'd be like, oh, it's 500 bucks plus a little bit spot. No, this is this is a more of expensive a coin, all right, because it has, yeah, it has the, the case and everything and all that stuff. This is a collector's coin. This has numismatic value. It has collector's value, right? So... This piece will always be worth well over spot. Um, and these, you know, these are just, you know, there's nothing crazy collectible about these. They come in nice little cases. I love these types of cases. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know, melt value plus the premium. These are cool because fractional silver is generally more expensive. Like if you were to try to find it on uh, some like famous metal site, they probably want like six or seven bucks for these, right? If you're paying with credit card or. You know, even with like crypto transfer or whatever, it's going to be more expensive. Um, they just charge the heck out of fractional silver. So it's cool to get a good deal. I love getting good deals from Midwest Coins. I love I love the, the Monday flash sales. It gives me something to look forward to on a Monday. Um, and then I love getting my packages, um, you know, the following week. It's fantastic. So this is definitely one of the better, more exciting buys that I've had. Uh, I love buying coins, you know, precious metals. Um, all that stuff, even though the only real numismatic things we have here, numismatic and the gold value, this is technically numismatic because it has, uh, it's collectors, even though it's, it's bullion, it's silver bullion, it's still numismatic, um, from the UK, and then from the Germania Mint, this, uh, I think has a little bit more of a numismatic value than, than this coin, I could be wrong, it all depends on who's collecting and, and, and um, you know, why they're collecting part of the world they're from uh, but these things would probably generally be never melted down or something like this this could be melted down and actually I've been thinking about because I have a, a little bit of uh, gold shot as well as silver shot and I'm like okay well I need a certain amount and I'll have some grams some like one gram volcambi rounds I'm like okay I might be busting those out and uh, be trying to make my own little gold coin I might do it I might not I definitely will never ever ever be melting this down because it's beautiful I might try to get rid of that copper, um, those copper spots right there, but for now, there's, you know, I'm not in a hurry to do it. I'm not in a rush, so why mess with it? Um, you know, it always become, it always helps to become more knowledgeable in something before you, before you do it. I, you know, I don't plan on selling it. Um, so, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps, and um, tell your friends about the channel. And you guys have a great holiday, great Christmas, have a great weekend, have a great week. Thanks.